Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a quick KPI indicator using sequence function in Microsoft Excel. To create this KPI indicator, we haven't used any kind of chart or BBA code. We just have used the sequence function and few other function and we have used the conditional formatting. So I will explain you step by step how you can create this beautiful chart. And this chart is connected with this beautiful scroll bar. You can change the number of columns from here like this. You want to create little smaller. Automatically it will adjust the color and everything. Here you can change the value of your KPI taken here service level. If I will take here 20%, 30% or 90% then automatically it will adjust that. Alright friends. Now I will explain you how you can create this from the scratch. So let's start without delay. I will add a new workbook, press Ctrl N. So this is new workbook, book 4 and here we will create our KPI indicator. So first of all we will take our service level value or we can say the KPI value. You can take any KPI which you want to take but here I am taking this service level value. So I'm taking these three cells and use this merge and center then taking next three cells use the merge and center and here I'm taking some default value let's say 30 percent you can change it with your original value select this row and make the height slightly bigger like around 24 or 25 just fill here green color let's say this one or you can take this one here lighter green color, let's say this one. We can change the font color here, white, this one. Take a copy of this and let's paste this here. We can take here number of columns. So how many columns you want to take on the KPI indicator. We can change this format, let's take here 20 columns for now. We will select the range from column B till will take around 40 or 50 columns so let's take till here for now right click go to the column width and take around 3 here we will display our kpi indicator so i'll use this equal to whatever the my kpi name so that is service level in this case select this entire row on row number 8 and change the height of the row let's take this height select this service level and Go to the home tab and click on wrap text align the center center all right so here we will use our formula the first formula we will use that is sequence function so let's use here sequence number of row we will take one because we are creating in multiple columns number of columns so here we have 20 columns so let's type here 20 and close the bracket hit the enter Automatically it will create a sequence from 1 to 20. If you will change this number in place of 20 you can take some other number like 10, 15 whatever you want. For now let's take 20 or let's take 40. So first we will connect the sequence function with this cell difference. Okay. So what we are going to do here we will give a name for this cell difference which is O3 either we can type here or go to the formula bar and name manager add a new name and we can put the name as number of columns okay that is O3 close now here in this sequence in place of this 20 we can type number of columns this one which we have created a name and just hit the enter so automatically it is creating the sequence till 40 now if we will type here 10 then it will take till 10 so let's keep here 20, uh, 40 we will keep the maximum range as 40 just because it is properly fit in our screen okay now let's select this range and then go to the home tab and conditional formatting and we will go to the new rule here we will take the first that is format all cells based on their value and we will select here three color scale okay and just click on ok so here you can see it has put the conditional formatting on the basis of the value so higher value is green lower is red in the middle section it is it has taken some yellow color also 
all right now we have already selected this range right click go to the format cells and here we will go to the borders we will take this thick border and the color we will take white color this one and click on outline inside go to the number custom and we don't want to show these number like one two three so what we can do here just put semicolon thrice click on ok Alright, so our condition formatting will look like this. It is looking more visual appealing now. Go to the view and remove the grid lines from here. Now, if I will change the value as 20, then you can see automatically it is adjusting the number of columns as well as the condition formatting. Alright. Now, the next thing to create that arrow here and then here we will show the value of the service level let's change the height of this row also like this so here we will use the sequence function as well as the ceiling function okay as we know the maximum value of the service level can be 100 percent now we will distribute that 100 percent in the equal bucket of 40 or if we will take here 20 then 20 so dynamically we will change it so how many buckets we want to create we can use here sequence function first so we will take one column number of columns so number of columns we will take the how many columns are there this one which is number of columns comma start now we want to start with one two three how we will decide it for example if we want to take here 10 then we should start it with 10 then 20, then 30, till 100, 10 times. If we want to take here 20, then we should start with 5, 10, then 15, till 100. So basically, we can say the starting point should be 100 because the maximum service level value divided by this number of column. So this can be our starting point as well as this will be our step also we will take each time step of 5 okay so now we can copy this formula and we can go to the formula bar and name manager we can create two quick names the first one we can take start and paste that formula here okay click on okay next you can take here step and we can paste the same formula okay just close the bracket now, if I will use the sequence function here, sequence, number of row, I'll take one, number of columns, I'll take the number of columns, whatever. Uh, start, we will take the start, we just have created 100 divided by number of columns. The step is also the same. So, we have already created the step. Close the bracket and hit the enter. You can see automatically it has created a sequence of 5, 10, so it always will create till 100. So let's quickly test this. If I will take here 5, then you can see it has created 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100. If I will take here 10, then each for 10. If I will take here 20, then 20. If I will take here 40, then it is starting from 2.5, 5, 7.5 and similarly. Because our service level value is in percentage, so we can convert this into percentage by dividing 100. Let's divide by 100. So this is in percentage. If you want to convert this into percentage, you can take simply percentage format and make this slightly smaller so it is visible. All right. Now we can check whether this value is equal to this. Many times this value cannot be equal to this just because of we are taking here a step of 2.5, but here it can be let's say only 2. So we don't have here 2. So in that case, we can use this ceiling formula. So what the ceiling formula return, I'll explain you. So let's use here ceiling. In the ceiling formula, we provide the number, this number and the significance. Ceiling formula returns the upper value of a number on the basis of significance. Okay. So here the significance will be this 2.5%. How we can return this 2.5%? So either we can take this divided by 100. And let's convert this into percentage. So this is 2.5% in this case. If I will take here, let's say 10, then automatically it will be 10%. Okay, so this is 10% in this case. If I will take here 20, then it will be 5%. Okay, so 
okay so this is our significance so we can use this formula or we can use 1 divided by 1 divided by this number of columns okay so automatically it will take the significance so let's copy this formula and create a name go to the formula and name manager new name and paste that formula here click on ok and just close this so here we can use the significance now we will put a condition if this value of the ceiling function is equal to of the sequence then we will show that arrow otherwise we will show blank in place of this f3 we can take the kpi value so let's create another name here for the kpi value use kpi value and that is seat one f3 this one click on ok close so we will use the same function here let's select this cut and we will use here if ceiling number we will use here kpi value significance we have already created the significance if the output of this ceiling function is equal to this sequence function then we will use here character 242 i'll show you what is character 242 else we will take here blank just hit the enter now select or go to the home tab and take the font as bing bings this one so here you can see it is showing an arrow this one align the center center and you can change the color let's say this blue color make it slightly more bigger all right so if you will go to the insert and symbols and here you can select the bing dings font this one and if you will scroll it down you will see few arrows here so i have taken this one correct code is 242 that is the reason i have used here character 242 then we have converted the font name of this range as bing dings same thing we can use here let's delete this we can use the same formula copy this formula and let's paste this formula here also in place of character 242 we will show the actual kpi value this one and just hit the enter I select this convert it to percentage make it slightly smaller take this font color make this bold okay if i will use here and between formula let's say 0 to 100 percent automatically it will show the value here we can remove this from here now we can convert these long formula into name so let's select this formula copy this formula go to the name manager go to the formulas name manager create a new name and this is for arrow we can put here arrow and paste that data formula here click on ok now same thing we can do with this formula also copy this and go to the name manager new name this is the kpi value but we have already kpi value name so we can say this is on arrow kpi value on arrow paste that formula here so you can see this is the same formula which we have copied from here click on ok all right now we can delete these two and we can type here simple arrow formula this one arrow enter automatically it will take that arrow and here we can type kpi value on arrow just hit the enter all right to create that scroll bar we can go to the developer tab and insert and we can insert a form control scroll bar from here drag that scroll bar here right click go to the format control minimum value we can take let's say 5 maximum we can take 40 and cell link we can take this one you can change this range as per your uh, requirement but because in my screen i can show maximum up to 40 so that it will be visible in one screen so i'm taking 40 minimum i'm taking 5 click on ok now i can change this you can see it is working to make this scroll bar uh, more beautiful you can add one rectangle go to the insert and take a rounded corner rectangle from here this one and drag that rectangle here pick this yellow handle go move to the right side so that corner will be rounded properly let's take this color and then go to the safe effects preset let's take the preset 5 
we can take the shadow this one just right click on this rectangle and send it to back now we can align it properly select both scroll bar and that rectangle together right click and make it a full all right so now you can use this so friends that is how you can create this beautiful kpi indicator without using any chart or vba code friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching